Okay, so now we're going to create groupings in our KMAP. Um, and so we're looking for ones in groups of twos or in pairs. So there with the blue pen, I'm circling the largest group of ones I can find, which is a group of four. All right. And so now I want to look at what that term will be. And so if I look as I moved down A, B, right, A changed and B changed. So that means those terms aren't important. We're going to get rid of them. So that means that the term I get from that group of four is not C, D. Okay. So now I have a group of three, but I can't make groups of threes. I can make groups of twos, fours, eight, sixteen. So that green pair now, I have to look and see. So as I move across there, not C stays the same, but D changes. So I've got to keep not C and throw away D, and I'm also going to keep AB. Now the I'm going to group the other one in a pair, okay, because I don't want to leave it by itself when I can simplify it. So I'm going to look and see what terms. So as I move there, C changed, so I'm going to keep the D, and I still have AB, so those are my terms. Now I can write the final form all together um, to have the simplified equation. And so our simplified equation is y equals not c, d, and a, I'm sorry, or a and b and not c, or a and b and d. And that's our final answer. So I hope this has been helpful to you um, and that you can um, find some usefulness for this. So again, if you wanted to check your work, you could remember to compare those results to your other truth table. All right. Hope you had a great day and this was helpful. Thanks.